I I just did this fucking stupid thing where I'm talking to you, but I'm not recording because I didn't press the red button. But all you missed was me bitching about uh, my meds making me tired, wondering how long that's going to last, and having PMS, Poppy being irritating, um, and me being stressed out about we always don't seem to get out until four o'clock because I have to take a nap before that after breakfast which is really at lunchtime um, it, it's I'm in a bad cycle like uh, it's a bad cycle the staying up really late I I'm not brave I'm not stopping it because I like it but it's fucking up my days but even without that like if I got up a few hours earlier, that would be better because then the nap that I have to take would be ending at early afternoon instead of mid afternoon or even late. It's a mess. But that's not what this vlog is about. Uh, vlog. Oh, and I just wanted to say that we did finally get out. It's not that cold, and Poppy is playing in the mud. I want to show you. Quietly. I don't know if that showed up. She's in the mud, talking to herself and digging. Okay, so, um, Coke Zero. I had right before we came out, and I thought it was disgusting. I hate it. Uh, Maybe the first sip I was like, oh, this is okay, but it, it's actually kind of similar to Splenda Coke. Um, I really don't enjoy drinking any Coke product out of plastic. Like, even if I'm craving Coke if the, or Diet Coke and the only option is plastic, I will usually not even buy it. Um, nor will I buy glass, those old-fashioned glass bottles, because they're flat. And I used to be a fan of those mini six packs because um, it would be like a controlled amount, even though I wind up drinking three of them. But um, definitely good for parties and children, the amount. But um, anyway, you know, I bought a lot of Thanksgiving and they go flat. Like there's something about Paul's science is that at the bottling plants, they, they don't pay that much attention to the quality of those. So those cans. I don't know. Um, but they do go flat. So, anyway, it's plastic. I don't like plastic, so that's like, you know, a check mark against it. But the taste... It's, uh, it's yucky. It was yucky to me. I think it was maybe... It was, you know, in the fridge for days. Um, chilled as could be. Uh, I was wondering if it would be better in a glass with ice to get away from the plastic vibe because I was drinking out of the little plastic hole and not enjoying that but um, uh, yeah I don't know um, it reminded me of Splenda it had the same weird thing that Splenda has which is like oh this reminds me of Coca-Cola and then after the swallow is totally done there's like this clingy aftertaste that I don't like so thumbs down on Coke Zero and I mentioned yesterday I had a, a fountain diet coke that was like it was like finally being with your true love after hanging out with people or your best friend after hanging out with people that you don't really care about you don't like coworkers. Um, people you can barely tolerate and then getting to, to be with someone that you could really talk to laugh with um, that's what it felt like oh, um, just wondering how your 
I don't want to say what you did yesterday because this is going to be put on YouTube and what you did was illegal. So, um, I'm wondering how your experience was. Um, I just read about somebody, this writer's wife, and she's a writer too, but he's a novelist who's more well known. He wrote a book called The Mysteries of Pittsburgh. I forget his first, his name. But he has a wife who writes controversial articles about women's issues usually, and I kind of hate her. Don't like her writing. But um, anyway, she got depressed, and I, she didn't want to do. She wanted a big pharma, so she decided to do um, what you did. Um, once a week and she said that it cleared her mind, it opened her mind, um, wiped away her depression and um, was life changing and the only reason she quit. I miss summer too, so bad. Do you want to say hi to Anna? Hi, Anna. Wait, this isn't FaceTime. No, it's a vlog. What's a vlog? It's when I record a message and send it to her. Oh. Hi, Anna. Hi. Show her your muddy hands that you've been playing in mud. Is it showing up on screen? Those are the muddy hands. Um, okay, so she did it once a week. I don't know. I, I actually just read about her thing. I didn't actually read her article. I don't know how long she did that. And she quit because she was afraid her deal was really um, an undercover agent. Um, I do know a friend of mine, a coworker that I once had, her parents were hippies and their best friend, was this guy that sold um, what you did yesterday and in the 80s and he's like in prison for life it's it's that's got to change now that's uh, certain things are being used for research and I mean the laws are so antiquated and severe um, but I don't know why I don't know like this lady like what kind of trouble would you get if you bought it. I mean, don't the dealers, aren't they the ones that really uh, get in trouble? Like the real trouble. Plus, she's so cheesy if she had like an arrest and a um, a record, a criminal record, she would just blog about it and brag, humble brag or complain brag about it. So, um, uh, For some reason, I feel like talking about her and all the things I hate about her, but I will not. Um, and um, see you pretty soon now, next week, two weeks. I'm just kind of spaced out about time. Um, okay, bye bye.